This is the, an example of the kind of infinite sum that would come up in probability. We want to do the sum as n goes from 1 to infinity of n times x to the n, where x is some number between 0 and 1. So to spell that out, that means we want x plus 2x squared plus 3x cubed plus 4x to the fourth plus 5x to the fifth, and so on. The question is, what does that add up to? So I'm going to do this problem in two different ways. If you can follow what I'm doing, great. If you have, if you're saying, "Huh, what is this? Go what's going on here?" You need to go back and review your calculus. So one way makes use of the formula for an infinite series. We know that one plus x plus x squared, and so on, is one over one minus x. And if you have a more general geometric series, a plus ax plus ax squared, then that's going to be a divided by 1 minus x. So we take our original series, and I'm going to write it in a funny way. I'm going to write it as x plus x squared plus x cubed plus x to the fourth, and so on, plus x squared plus x cubed plus x to the fourth, and so on plus x cubed plus x to the fourth, and so on, plus x to the fourth, and so on. So you notice we count x once, and x squared twice, and x cubed three times, and x to the fourth four times, and that's what we wanted. And now we're going to add it up one row at a time. So the first row gives us x divided by 1 minus x. The second row gives us x squared divided by 1 minus x. The third row gives us x cubed divided by 1 minus x. The fourth row gives us x to the fourth over 1 minus x. And so on. In other words, we have 1 over 1 minus x times x plus x squared plus x cubed plus x to the fourth. And so on. And that gives us 1 over 1 minus x times x over 1 minus x. And that's x over 1 minus x squared. Now, we didn't actually use any calculus here. We used properties of sums in geometric series. But you, And I guess you could say that this formula is the Taylor series for 1 over 1 minus x. But that's the extent to which we've actually used calculus. There's a different approach, which is to start with the formula 1 over 1 minus x is equal to 1 plus x plus x squared, and so on down the line. In other words, the sum as n goes from 0 to infinity of x to the n. Now, since this is true for every value of x, you can take the derivative of both sides. And if you take the derivative of both sides, you get 1 over 1 minus x squared is equal to 0 plus 1 plus 2x plus 3x squared. In other words, the sum as n goes from 0 to infinity of nx to the n minus 1. And of course, n equals 0 doesn't contribute, so we might as well start our sum at and then if you multiply both sides by x, you get that x over 1 minus x squared is the sum as n goes from 1 to infinity of nx to the n. So it's the same result that we got by writing our sum out in a clever triangular form. So you could use it by doing sums, or you can do it, use it by taking derivatives. Those are both the kinds of tricks that come up a lot in probability. Now, I would not expect you to be able to think of this trick all by yourself. But if you should be able to understand it when it's presented to you. Oh, yeah, that's the Taylor series. You're allowed to take derivatives of both sides of a Taylor series, one, you know, one term at a time. So this equals this, multiply through by x, this equals this.